Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this photograph in this text. And they were asking me which way would be better to power clip it or to intersect it. I don't really think it matters. Power clipping sometimes can cause problems. It doesn't always work. Uh, but this is going to be printed on a t-shirt with some other text. So the power clip will work. So grab your picture, go to object, power clip, place inside frame, and there you go. Now there's no hidden factors. Now one way it might be a little bit better is you can edit the power clip and you could move some things around, you know, if you wanted more trees or whatever, and then finish it and you can see that. But the same thing will happen in if you hit P and put it in the center of the page and then you can move this around because you can see what you're going to do with the intersect tool and then select it all and go intersect and you've done the same thing. The, the one thing that's good about this, it leaves your text. It leaves your text and it leaves your picture if you want to do something else and look at it differently. Another thing that might look good, depending on what color shirt you're printing this on, you could do one of two things. You could select your item, hold down your shift key and double select your rectangle tool, and then turn your rectangle yellow and go to object, order, back a page, and then take away your outline, and you get a totally different look. And you could actually play with that and um, give that yellow some different appeal to it, different colors. Uh, you could, you know, uh, actually blend it with some red or whatever, but there's enough color in this picture that you could uh, pretty much just leave it as it is. I mean, you wouldn't want red, you know, maybe a gray instead of the white t-shirt. You know, the blue, blue doesn't look half bad. Um, you know, maybe even a pink just depending on who you're doing the shirt for, you wouldn't want to use a color that's probably already in the uh, drawing, maybe a lighter yellow, if you were doing it on top of a blue shirt. And you could actually make, you know, you can make the rectangle larger if you were gonna print it by holding down the shift key and have the rectangle grow. So you've got an edge if you're gonna put this on a, a different colored shirt. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.